Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. I had someone comment and ask if I could give a short video, I'm gonna make it short anyway, about e-pole positions. I'm pretty sure I made a video about this before, but it would have been like four or five, six years ago. So let's talk about them real quick again. Quick primer about e-pole and F attachment, right? I usually tune my F attachment to F so that the F in first position is useful. Try to make those the same. The F and the staff, if that matches up with the F with the valve down, then I can play. I can play a low F also in first position. I like that because it doesn't, I don't lose any notes in first position. You can also tune this to C so that C is in tune in first position. I never do this, so this is strange for me. That's actually just about right on. When you do this, you pull it out a little farther. There's a big difference in the tuning between Fs. So now the low F in first position is too flat to use. Right now that was about 15 cents low, so I can't play low F in first position. That means I always tune to F in first. I play bass trombone, this is just what I'm used to. So when you tune to F in first, right, you have all your F attachment positions, and they're all scooted out a bit from your, um, from your open horn positions. So going through them on the same partial, one C I can't play it I actually ran out of slide I'm literally on the last like centimeter of stocking and I'm still according to the tuner 20 cents sharp that means we have no C with the F attachment with the tuning in F if you tune this to C which is only that much more maybe you get a low C personally I don't think so I think you're always having to lift it just a little bit and so what I do, if I have to play a low C and it has to be real and full and in tune, I play an E. So instead of an F attachment, it's now an E attachment, which is pretty simple. You just pull this out kind of most of the way. Let's see where that is, who knows? Um, once I figure this out and I have to do this a lot, if I have to play an E a lot, I'll get a Sharpie and I'll just mark where E is. And so when I pull this out, I'm like, oh, there's my marking for E. So that's actually quite high. Let's pull it out a little more. There's not a lot of room left, so I'll just kind of pull it out. So I still have a good amount of tubing left in here so it doesn't like fall out. That's actually not bad. That's just a little bit high on E, which gives us, guess what? E in first position. So something you noticed with the F attachment positions, when this is here, is that every one of them gets lowered farther and farther as we get out on the slide. F is in the same position as F. Great. E, it's a little farther out. E flat, even farther out, uh, etc. As we go down, they get farther and farther out. That's why we lose C on the end of the slide. And when you pull to E, that distance between the positions that we noticed on the F attachment, now it's whoop, just a little bit bigger. So you might find yourself trying to use F attachment positions if you're used to them. Um, just kind of the general spacing of those positions, it's not the same anymore. You have to adjust them all just a little bit, which is why if you're going to play an E, you need to practice playing an E enough that you kind of understand, oh, E flat is not where E used to be, and kind of that, just that position where E is. 
it's now there. Just enough difference to make a difference. E, uh, what is it? D, instead of being kind of like at the bell or wherever I think E flat is with the F attachment, it's kind of basically in fourth position now. And C is still pretty far out there. It's kind of like D flat again on the F attachment, but it's even farther out. You really don't have a lot of wiggle room. And that's why there's no low B, even when you pull the E. If I pull this all the way out, it's falling out. It's gonna play really badly now. That registers as a B that's like 35 cents sharp. There's no room for B. So even if you have a B and you gotta play it, you gotta do a false tone or something. So couple huge disadvantages of pulling to E. One, sticks out farther. If you have an open wrap, it's gonna stick out even farther than it already does. Two, um, you have to remember where this is, um, and especially if you're like, if you have like a couple measures and you like play something, you're like, gotta pull the E, uh, the, uh, and then you gotta play, that sucks. Um, number three, anytime you have attachment tubing and there's more of it, it's gonna play stuffier and it's gonna play worse and it's gonna sound less like the open instrument. That's why on bass trombones, a lot of bass trombonists prefer to use the G flat or G valve if they use that. They kind of prefer to use that valve over the F valve for sound because the shorter the attachment tubing, the better it's gonna sound. And when you pull the E, you kind of have like the max, maximum amount that you could have in one attachment. And so it's always gonna play a little stuffier, a little worse, articulations are gonna be a little fluffier. It's gonna sound less like the instrument without using the valve. And of course, now you have no positions that line up with the series. Before, you know, you just have kind of the normal stuff that you're used to. sounds really bad right now, sorry. I've not played this instrument in months. Now, instead of having something that kind of lines up with the overtones, you have this. I even want that F in the staff to sound like an E because that kind of makes sense now. So now instead of having a nice C in the staff that you can play with the valve, now you have a B, which is just not as useful in first position. You have to play all your C's in sixth position in the staff. Uh, B flat scale, It's now it's like playing a, a straight trombone. You don't have the advantage of the um, valve kind of in the staff like you used to. You get a B, but that's not great because if you have to play a chromatic run, now it's really awkward. You have to go from first to sixth. It's definitely not the ideal setup. And of course, you have to learn these positions below the staff in order to make it useful. So um, there's not a lot of like concrete info in this little video. You really just gotta pull your trombone to E, figure out exactly where that is, mark it with a Sharpie, and then play music that goes down there and really center those notes. And again, just like in all my other videos about attachment stuff, Compare the notes in a, in a register that you already know. I always use that um, third partial. There we go. I always use that partial because you can compare exactly where it should be with a note that you know in a spot that you can really play easily. Once you can do that, play below the staff and start to learn where those are. Um, hopefully that helps you guys out. Uh, F attachment is great e attachment not as great but sometimes we have to use it for low c's that's all i got i'll see you guys next time bye